What is up everybody? My name is Zytra and welcome back to a new live reaction and review. <sighs> With a new tripod. Thank God I don't have to use boxes anymore. <laughs> Shit, dude. Like, using boxes is just a pain in the ass already. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to take a look over at the Pentagon EP by Chibs, released on Disciple Roundtable. I've heard a lot of Chibs since, like, um, Black Ops, I don't know which one it is, but um, BLT, which is on Black Ops 2 or 3, 4, I don't know, I, I forgot which one. Um, and since that, I've been um, listening Chibs on that day, and I've been a fan of since to the... I've been a fan since a few years ago since he um, uploaded uh, BLT, which he also uh, released 50 Shots EP, which is on Disciple Round Table, and I was like, fuck yeah, fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> uh, and uh, since that, this is probably uh, my second uh, Disciple Round Table review, the first one, which is Infect's uh, Breakout EP. Um, I am stoked to see uh, what Chibs did with this EP because I've heard like Pac-Man, um, Knock Knock, um, what else? The Cross and Jelly EP, of course, Problem with Virus Syndicate, and a lot more. So, uh, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's jump right into this. Starting off with the title track of the EP, Pentagon. Okay. See, the chip sound design is so... You can recognize the chip sound design already. You can recognize the sound design already. Oh, don't tell me that it's about to drop already. Oh! Okay. I see you, my boy. And y'all know that I am a huge fan of, well, I don't know if y'all know, but... Okay, that's a nice fake out. I'm sorry. Um... And I don't know if I told I, I don't know if I told you this, but I am such a fan of OG rhythm and such. Like this is beautiful. Oh, what was that? Oh, okay. Okay. Give it to me. Shit, dude. Yeah. Okay, why does this remind me of, like, BLT, man? Like I mentioned before. This seriously reminds me of BLT because of the bases. Well, it, it, it kind of has a little bit of resemblance to that, but still.
Okay, that's uh, one way to uh, start to finish that that track. Yeah, I cannot even talk properly because of that shit. <laughs> just add a build up right there and just cut the song right over there. Um, the sporadicism on this track is just amazing, really. Fuck. All right. And since that, it almost reminded me of, like, BLT and such. Like, I could still hear it for some reason. It's kind of resembling to that. I don't know why, though. I think it's because of the basses, really. Or the progression, I, get, I think. Next track, Vampire Song. Okay, a little bit of experimental changes, I think. Okay, this cut- wow! I was not expecting that. The nice delays here. Okay, wow. I love this. Tim's improved a lot since... Well, I don't know since, like... I don't know which track, but he improved a lot. Well, he improved a lot for me, that's what I'm saying. That's so gnarly! Okay. Okay, okay, wow, <clears throat> goddamn, okay, um, from before what I, um, uh, before what I saw on the, what I listened on to, like, Chips' tracks, it usually, like, ends off, like, really slowly, and it ends up, but this, but this EP ends off completely out of nowhere, goddamn, 
vampire song for me i think it's kind of a little bit like experimental because of the arpeggiator i think um it, it's really impressive on how he's doing on with this ep so far i love this so far next track shekels okay <laughs> What? Oh, this progression, dude. Even though that I heard this progression a lot of times, I still enjoy it. I mean, I think that is the point of OG Rhythm in the first place. As the way I'm bopping my head, this is what vibe gives off. A nice chill vibe yet kind of heavy at the same time. God damn. Back again with those nice with those nice arpeggios right there. This phone thing? It's kind of like a phone for some reason. God damn. I know I'm not saying anything, I'm just, I'm just mesmerized at this track right there. Oh, I think I kind of hear like a high pitch sound at the, at the track right there. There's the... I kind of hear it. Yeah, dude. Here comes the phone synth again. I... Okay. 
to be honest, even though that the draw, that the track is a little bit longer than the other two, I still enjoy this. I still enjoy this EP and tracks as well. The progression on this track is really groovy, I would say. And the nice arpeggios right over there is just mesmerized, I would say. And um, I don't know what else to say, but I'm liking this so far. Final track of the EP, Throwy. Oh, what? Don't tell me that we're going to get some bass house. Come on. Or is it mid-tempo? I don't know. I, I, I kind of mix up genres. The classic, the classic chips clap right there. Ooh! Some experimental shit! Say what? I see you, my boy! Oh, that's so gnarly. I did not expect that. I seriously did not expect that. Goddamn. I'm, I'm so sorry for pausing at that point. The frog base. <laughs> Okay. Wow. That's a nice one right there. Why do I, why am I imagining that this is from like a cyberpunk, a cyberpunk theme track? I don't know why I'm th thinking about that. Shit, dude. I love this track. This this is one of my favorites. This is my favorite so far. Well, already because it's the ending of the EP right there. If he experiment with some other genres, I'm going to flip, man. This track just throws you out this this unexpected mid tempo. Oh god, this is just amazing. This track. I want more producers trying to do like different genres, like fucking fucking bass house mid tempo, drum and bass, drum step, 
other kind of genre that it's other than dubstep or rhythm. <sighs> wow. I love this. I love this. The nice... This track gives me a lot of, like, cyberpunk vibes in that sort of way. I really enjoy this EP. Goddamn. <clears throat> and that's pretty much for this EP. All right. My overall thoughts on this EP is just that since that Chips came back, uh, came back from the dead since like his fucking, uh, since his knock 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 track like on fucking Nice of the Roundtable Volume Four, and his Crust and Jelly EP like over like two or th two or one year ago I think I I don't even remember things anymore um I'd give this EP a nice um 9.5 out of 10 this is the second time that, which is a 9.5 out of 10 um reason because I think that uh shekels has some things that um don't fit for me because there are some things that uh that I don't really like, like this high pitched sound on on shekels at the very end. Um, that I don't like. Yeah, but oh, but other than that, I really do enjoy this EP. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. All right. So if you enjoy this video and this EP, make sure to comment down below on what you think of this EP. Like this video if you enjoyed this, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and slap the notification bell so you don't miss out a thing. I upload every single week or in a random day if I find it necessary. <sighs> Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Zydra, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.